Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk about Conic Sweep. The Sweep Conic tool is very powerful in that it creates highly aesthetic surfaces. Um, the only thing it can't do is create mathematically 100% G2 surfaces, but because of the type of control that you have, you can mimic a G2 surface if all of your inputs are built correctly. The nice thing about a conic surface is that it is a non-inflecting surface, so it cannot actually reverse curvature like a blend surf or something like that. The curvature will always flow in one direction. Now, the sweep tool, you'll notice I have with profile, linear, circle, and at the very end you have conic. <clears throat> the default is two guide curves. You'll notice I have three, four, and five guide curves. With two guide curves, what I need as inputs are guide curve one, tangency surface. Guide curve two, tangency surface. This is very similar to a blend surf in that the inputs, tangencies, surfaces, but here I have to define a spine. By default, the spine is the first curve that I selected. What I want to do is I want to use something a little bit more neutral. So this is the intersection of the two surfaces. So this would be a character curve, per se. And I'm going to select on that as my spine. I'm going to select OK. And what you'll notice is a little message that pops up, a little warning. And it's saying that the surface has been relimited. And what that means is, if I take a look, because of the spine and the nature of the surface, this does not go all the way to the end with the guide. So it's a good idea to make sure your, your guides and surfaces are overbuilt, flattened out. Now, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use my connect checker. I'm going to pick these three surfaces. And I want to check out my max deviation. You can see G0 is perfect. G1 is perfect. But I'm a little off on G2. Okay, so I'm going to say I want say 10% for G2. Anything 10% and below would be considered good. And select OK. Now, you can see I have a 72% and 82%. And if I double click on this, there's one parameter that I didn't talk about. It's the conic parameter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this just a little bit. We'll go up to 0.55. I get my little message, and you'll notice that my G2 continuity is getting a little closer. It's looking closer to um, my allowable. So if I come into my sweep, I'll just open this up. You'll notice there are my inputs. If I double click on my parameter here, I can also manually input. I'm going to go up to 0.65. Now that I've gone up to 0.65, you'll notice that this portion of my conic is perfect. It is within my allowable G2. Over here it's at 40%. So this number you can play around with, this row number, and you can start seeing over here it goes away, over here it comes in, and sort of tweak it. But what's interesting is mathematically this surface may be off a little bit. If I look at the surface that I've affected with my row value, you'll notice the peak I'm giving it a little bit more acceleration. So if I come in here and I just say uh, maybe at 0.6, this is a, a, a beyond my allowable to have a little less peak in here. But if I analyze this visually, if I use something like highlight line, visually analyzing this thing, pick this surface, this surface, this surface, and I want to use my YZ plane, you'll notice that this flows very nicely across those boundaries. It's not perfect, but it flows very nicely. Now, in a lot of cases, this may be perfectly acceptable. Again, if it's an interior part, something that has a grain, um, maybe on a seat, it's a uh, piece of foam with uh, leather wrapped on it or some sort of cloth wrapped, on, wrapped around it. So this may be a perfectly acceptable condition. We cancel this out. We go ahead and hide the connect checker. And the last check that I want to perform is what's called cutting plane analysis. And I want to 
pick these surfaces. And I want on curve, the curve I want to use is going to be this curve. And I'm going to drag it down along on this curve. And what you'll notice is at the very end, I have that acceleration leading into the next surface. So if I come in here and again modify my parameter value, oops, 0.7, you can see what's happened is, is this is swung in the other direction. It's still not inflecting, it's still not reversing curvature. Um, and on this side, it's nearly perfect. So using a conic surface, I've created a very aesthetically pleasing surface. It's not perfectly G2. Would you use this on an exterior body panel? Probably not. Something interior, something that needs to be aesthetic but doesn't need to be perfectly G2, and you want a nice, simple surface. And now, if I analyze the surface, let's say, with, uh, we'll come in here, I'm going to go into Apply Dress Up, pick this, apply. You'll notice that it is a relatively simple surface. It's fairly clean. If I analyze the geometric information, you'll notice that it is a 6x6 six six and number of components is 2. So it is a relatively simple surface as far as the blend goes. Or I should say conic sweep to use as a blend.